Today we solve some more divisions. Here we divide a polynomial with a binomial using a long division method. Okay. To proceed to this long division method, you have to follow these rules. They are The common concept here is, we know this basic concept, when you divide a number or divide something by another, here we have some terminology related to the division. That is, dividend by divisor gives the quotient. This we know. This is the common. When you divide two numbers, we get a quotient. Sometimes the division may leave a remainder also. So based on this concept, we learned some, a concept earlier that is quotient into divisor plus remainder is equal to dividend. This is the algorithm we follow to check our division is correct or not. This we proceed in the earlier classes too. The same we apply in this class too. Based on the points already we discussed about how to divide a polynomial by one binomial. Let's see an example. So in this session we study how to divide a polynomial with a binomial or trinomial or anything, anything. Let's go through an example. So here we have to divide this polynomial by the binomial. As for the first rule, you have to check the dividend terms, whether the ascending order or descending order according to the power of their degree or not. In this question, the dividend part is already in descending order according to the power of the variable. x power 4, fourth degree, third degree, second degree, first degree, zero degree. So it is already in order. If not, you have to arrange in order. That is the first point we discussed already. Since the dividend is already in descending order or in order, I divide this by this. Let me write the divisor that is x plus 3 and the dividend 2x power 4 plus 8x cube plus 7x square plus 4x plus 3 okay but how to divide this as per the second term to know the first term of the quotient divide the first term of the dividend by the first term of the divisor. That means 2x power 4 by x. 2x power 4 by x is nothing but 2x cube. Okay? 2x cube is the first term in the quotient. 2x cube. So with this first term, you have to multiply this binomial. This is the rule already we discussed. So x into 2x cube, 2x power 4, plus 3 into 2x cube, plus 6x cube, okay? As for the usual division, we do subtract, minus, minus, 2x cube minus 2x cube, always we get the 0, that means they get cancelled. Now, the result of plus 8x cube minus 6x cube is 2x cube. Carry the next term to continue the division plus 7x square. Now, this is the first term in the dividend part. The first term of the divider is no change. So, 2x cube by 2x. 2x cube by 2x. 
which gives x square. So x square is the next term in the quotient plus x square. You know already what to do with the x square. With this x square again multiply the binomial. So x into So divide this 2x square by x. 2x square, sorry, 2x cube by x. We get 2x square. This is the next term in the quotient. 2x square. With this 2x square, multiply always the divisor. All the terms x into 2x square 2x cube plus 3 into 2x square plus 6x square again do subtraction minus minus okay plus 7x minus 6x is x square plus 4x okay now this is the first term in the dividend part so x square by x to know the next term of the quotient x square by x is x so plus x so plus x into x square x square plus x into 3 3 x again subtraction minus minus so remain with x, the last term plus 3. So x by x gives 1 plus 1. So 1 into. So you get the same x plus 3. So by subtraction you get 0. So we can say x plus 3 is the perfect factor of this polynomial. And also you can observe the quotient also is in descending form according to the power of the variable that is degrees power 3 power 2 power 1 so by observing this we can confirm that our work is perfect to check your perf work is perfect or not you know the algorithm divisor into quotient plus remainder gives the dividend part very simple. Let's solve one more division. Okay. In this division, I am dividing a polynomial by a trinomial. The same rule. The same rule. Let me copy. Let's check for the first that dividend is in order or not. Third degree, second degree, first degree, zero degree. So it is already in order. Don't worry. I copy the dividend part first. That is x cube minus 6x square plus 11x minus 6 and the divisor is a trinomial so x square minus 4x plus 3 to get the first term of the question divide x cube by x square x cube by x square is equal to x so x is the first term x is the first term. So x of x square that is x cube x into minus 4x minus 4x square plus 3 into x plus 3x ok subtraction plus x cube become minus minus 4x square turn to plus plus 3x turn to minus x cube minus x cube 0 minus 6 plus 4 minus 2x square plus 11 minus 3 plus 8x carry this last term minus 6 to get the next term of the quotient again minus 2x square by x square minus 2x square by 
x square that gives minus 2. So minus 2 is the next term of the question. Now multiply the trinomial with minus 2. Here we do the common error. We ignore the negative sign. People often multiply by 2, ignoring the minus. So with minus 2 you have to multiply the whole trinomial. So minus 2 into x square minus 2x square minus 4x into minus 2 plus 8x plus 3 into minus 2 minus 6 let's subtract the trinomial minus down to plus plus to minus minus to plus minus 2x plus 2x square okay plus 8x minus 8x minus 6 plus 6, 0. So this trinomial is also a perfect factor of this polynomial. That's why we got the remainder 0. So for verification, already I said, you multiply the trinomial by this binomial so that you will get the dividend part. Okay? So division of polynomial by binomial or trinomial by anything is not a difficult task. Very simple. In our next video, we saw some more of the same kind and another type of reasons are we use the factorization in some cases, not in all the cases. That is also we saw in our next videos. Thank you for watching.